Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Sunless Sea with me, Brainboy20. Where we last left off, we were at Polytherim after visiting Mount Palmerston. And now we need to take off and head back to London because the supplies are starting to run low. So, let's shove off, shall we? Mercifully, we have a lot of objectives done. And speaking of which, let's stop by Godfall on the way back, because we happen to have just enough supplies and it's near enough to actually see what goes on here. I don't remember, do we need two casks of mushroom wine or just one? I guess we'll find out in about two seconds. Ah, uh, see of shouting, let's hear the port report. Hmm. Oh, never mind, we need five casks. Oh well. Let's go. No reason to remain on Godfall. This is going to be one of those episodes that's going to spend a lot of time in Wolfstack Docks, I guarantee it. Especially considering I have no reason to go back to Hunter's Keep, considering what happened on the previous episode, which I encourage you to watch if you haven't. A lot of momentous things occurred. We're going to be skirting the edge of the Carnage. I'd rather stay away from that. If, just so I could avoid, you know, dying. You know, there are certain members of the Carnate that kind of want me dead because of actions that happened in, like, the very first episode. Okay, maybe, like, the third or fourth, but still. <laughs> we'll come back to the Carnate later when we actually have a reason to. Alright, something awaits us at the next port. We might stop by the Shepherd's Isle if nothing else presents itself. Yeah, let's stop by the Shepherd's Isle. We actually have one story that left on this. Porter port as usual. Well, always immediately do a porter port. I'm not going to bother with the picnics at the Standing Stones, but we are going to ask of the tales of the Thornwell Croft. What about that isle to the north, the one that isn't bridged? The ones that farm up there, there's us, me and you, all the other versions of us. One with a trick leg, one that married his cousin, one that was buried alive. Characters out of another history, they're waiting up there and plotting gathering allies, waiting to make their history ours. So don't go there. You won't find them anywise, being that they hides in the barn. Oh, I forgot to say, the wrong kind of people. And I decided to say these guys are southern. You can't tell me otherwise, even though this is nowhere near the United States. Was it the United States? No, this is Victoria era London. Era London. Was it discovered then? I think so? I need a history lesson. <laughs> this is sad. This is shameful, actually. I had AP Euro in high school. I mean, sure, it's college now, but I shouldn't have forgotten that. It's the time era that the Americas were discovered. I'm just trying to remember, was it simultaneous with Victorian era in London, or was that at... No, that was beforehand. Quakers happened earlier. Yeah, no, v uh, Americas were colonized earlier than Victoria era in London. What the heck am I thinking? Ah, oh, well. We don't need to go back to the Salt Lions, because we've gained the, uh... Whatever secret thing that I keep forgetting. In fact, I'm going to look it up in the journal, because this is terrible that I've forgotten. It is a... Me and our hold, wouldn't it? Yeah. It would be an extraordinary implication. Yes, that's what it was. Can I be any more absent-minded? And I apologize if I seem to check my map all too often. I don't want to miss islands. Like, I'm almost certain there's an island down here that I've been missing constantly. 
Stalagmites loom in the distance of the cranes of the wolf. Oh, of the wolf stack docks, but vaster, vaster. The Corsair's forest. Our lookouts are watchful. Patrick's lot. Okay, no, I'm certain. I am certain that there's an island here that I don't know about. Ip, ip, ip. Full, full reverse. Run. Run. No, no more dilly dallying here. We're all clear now, but we're not going to fight, especially when we have no fuel. And the supplies truly are running low. Discovered the bony reefs. Now, finally. Oh, you son of a. Dimino's gate. I'm just going to kill the lights. Hopefully, he doesn't see me. No, he sees me. Just going to try to dodge the jelly fleur. Jelly fleur. Full power of the engines. If you ever need an extra turn of speed, clicking the full power to engines icon will add a fuel to the fuel canister. Allowing me to spend all my lovely f fuel. Yes, I know my hull took damage. Why did you stop? Oh. Uh, that could be because of the fact that there's an island in the way. You know. I think our captain might die here if the jelly fluid does not stop. Thankfully, the enemy is sometimes prone to doing that. Yes, yeah, so as we enter a fog bank, um, you can cancel now. I would like to get out of this weaponry thing. Fast the Fast Gene Bleaks. Nothing fancy to report now. We're just going to stop by the Admiralty Shipyards. At least I hope I can. I kind of need to fix all this damage. I don't know if we're going to make it back to London on this. I mean, I'm not going to stop by Hunter's Keep because it's burned out now. There's no reason to go. Yep, even the image changed. I really wish my statistics were just a bit higher for Hunter's Keep. It still saddens me greatly. I don't know a single thing about that event, because I think that's the very first time I've ever encountered it. But a very useful source of supplies is now gone, so I'm going to have to actually actively purchase supplies from here. Thankfully, the cheery men should be more than obliging when it comes to payment. We are back at London. The Revenue Men. Her enduring Majesty's Custom Service works closely with both the Ministry of Public Decency and the Masters of the Bazaar. Today they have selected you for an inspection. Don't cheek them. We don't have any romantic literature, we don't have any crates of human souls, or brilliant souls, or no mirror catch boxes. So we can let them do their worst. We have nothing to hide. We declare all controlled goods. That's really annoying that that happened in this way, because you can barely read it. If there's anything past it. Pay the customs duty on any untaxed souls or romantic literature you're carrying. Surrender any smuggled sunlight. Talk your way out of a search. Today, as a duty officer, as a parrot, patriot, perhaps you can claim your own admiralty business. Nah. Set something aside. They didn't know about every little trinket you have. Well, I'm not hiding anything, so let them do their worst. Vexed and frustrated, they roam your deck like wolves. They tear through your belongings like termites. At last, they leave. And let us collect messages from the harbor master. All the clatter and song of the dark side, it soothes the soul. Are there messages for you? Let's see. 
free evening, something changed, more people want to sign on, and the blind bruiser would like to speak with me. Souls delivered. What a proprietous and encouraging occasion this is to meet again here in this place, which has been so very fortunate for us both. Allow me to shake you warmly by the hand, since you've demonstrated your unswerving commitment to fair dealing and honest conveyance. Very good. My patron will toast you. Accept payment. You do not need to cover your. You do need to cover your costs. Or we could refuse payment. Announce to the blind blue bruiser that you that this debt pays your debt and you're done. I shall accept my payment. An encouraging leer. Here is your compensation and a little fuel and a few barrels of biscuits. What a certain other captain has wildly surrendered for the common good. I will take the good word to my patron, and if I'm a man of my word, we will see each other again. Unless a whale eats you, of course, in which case I hope you will not think poorly of me for wishing that we will not. 200 echoes, 2 supplies, 5 fuel. And I was paid. A little request. Once more we find ourselves here on the quayside, what is, I suppose you might say, the lip of the well of opportunities. Let us both drink deeply from this well, by which I mean my patron has a task for you. Take a payment across the ocean and bring back a little package. Of course, if you return to London without the little package, I'll probably have something sharp to say about it. I could refuse. I'll agree. Why not? Here's the money. Don't lose it. Now bring the package back here, and it is my hearty recommendation that you avoid the ungentle attentions of the excise, on account of if you return without the package, it is of no interest to my patron whether you have lost it or had it taken from you. Good luck. Good luck. If you return to London without an unstamped crate of brilliant souls before completing this task, there is a risk that the blind bruiser will take offense. And I have to... I've been asked to collect a package from Khan's heart and the salt steps. I hate you so much. Blind bruiser has departed. Gained a thousand echoes. Don't spend this. And I've been asked to pick something up. I learned the hard way in one of my previous playthroughs that you are not supposed to spend that a thousand echoes, so it mostly have 260 to mess with. But as of right now, actually, first things first, where, where can I get my ship repaired? London. Uh, oh, first things first, let's deliver the clay men. Get 120 echoes with which to continue spending. Put your ship in dry dock. Admiralty Yards. I would love to completely repair my hull. Lost a favor, lost 24 echoes. But my hull is fixed. Because, jeez louise, it took so much damage. What happened to my favors, the Admiralty? I'll visit the Admiralty's office. Alright, first things first, Hunter's Keep's End. No, we'll do the things we've done before. Salt Lions. Favor remains unchanged. Yes, unfortunate. I can't actually gain favor at this point through that way. Godfall. Chapel of Lights. Polythurim. Avid Horizon. Shepherd's Isle. Unsubstantiated hearsay. It's better that way. Especially considering we can't phys physically complete that task. And we have strategic information, but currently I don't care that much. Then I'll ask if there's anything particular we need. Misery and Company Funging Station. Okay, that's fine. Now then, Hunter's Keep. I trust the sisters are keeping well. They are citizens of her enduring majesty. Notionally. This is ghastly news. The poor girls. 
We had warned them they weren't safe, but it had been so long. I thought, well, it's done. Thank you. After looking at the matter of a supply post, I've gained one fragment, confirmed the admiralty records, one fuel, lost a port report, gained 20 echoes, favor remains unchanged. It's weird. I'm not Palmerston. The Brimstone Convention. They trouble me, Captain. And you've gained a favor. And we shall drop off the strategic information. All right, I've got enough favor. Well, they don't need. Well, they don't need my anger anymore. We're gonna ask what the admiral needs. Discover what the admiral desires. Information. Visit a port and will be interested in the port report. Visit places of particular interest and will be interested in the strategic information you will gain thereby. You, we will pay you well. Don't worry. We understand you can't be expected to act entirely for the love of the empire. His lips curl. What's left of it? And that would be all. So, London. Let's visit our new recruits, see who's here. We can get the haunted doctor and engage the sailor. Uh, sure. Nah, we won't increase our crew. We don't need more. We really don't. We'll keep our money. The alarming scholar is here, but I'd like to visit my lodgings first. I'd like to spend some time with my family. You give suitable presents to your child, they will gain Z fever. If I gain Z fever after 25, I'll get a benefit that we have yet to see because somehow I haven't died yet. Well, we finally come close. Perhaps a memory of a distant shore. Tell tales of far lands. There is something you saw far across the black ocean. Share it. The child's eyes grow round as pennies. They store up the memories as dream fuel. Much later, you find the scene you described, scrawled on the foot scalp sheet by a childish hand. You now have five memoirs, Z Fever. Lost a memory of a distant shore? But I lost 20 Terra. New total, 20. I'm actually surprised I have 40 Terra of all things. Oh well. My lodgings, I don't have a free evening. Not going to retire just yet. No need. Um, alarming scholar. A memory of a distant shore, for one. Fabius Antiquarian is now five. We shall give you an extraordinary uh, Z story. And an outlandish artifact, which is a hundred echoes. And one more extraordinary implication. Which is worth an astonishing 250 echoes, so I've got another thousand to mess with. Although, unfortunately, this is actually going to go into a bunch of supplies, considering we no longer have access to the free supplies before. So we'll start off with 20 there. 20 fuel and 10, 11 supplies. How much can I hold? Not much more. Hmm. I'm going to have to consider upgrading my ship soon. But a lot of this still costs a lot, considering... Look at this cutter. Like, we currently have the Ligeia class steamer. And we can always look down at these new ships, but as of right now, I don't feel the need to do so. Anyway, um, yeah, I believe it is now time to continue our journey. The Venturer's desires are going to still remain unfulfilled. Is there virtually anything else I can do? Oh, I've actually got 300 echoes, so I might stop by Vendabite and pick up the bandage push in here. And I've got the sigil-ridden navigator, but I still don't know where to get strange catches. 
We'll find that out at some point. Quality of a townhouse. Alright. Oh no, the objectives is what I was looking at. Cargo from the Cheeryman. Wistful Devilus. Bunx from the sea. But I still need to find Irum. Alright. Let us shove off once more. I might just wait just long enough to see what happens at Hunter's Keep if you have times are changing, because Vendabite takes long enough of a journey anyway. I still haven't bothered going back to Mutton Island after a while. I mean, we kind of neglected that place. Then again, there's not much point to going back there. Hunter's Keep was just always the better option. And I will casually keep 900 extra echoes, just because we're going to start burning through this stuff again to get more crew. Yeah, it's still a port. So we're going to stop and wait. And I'm actually going to pause the video while we wait, strictly because this is going to take a long time. Never mind. Never mind. The show must go on. Hunters keep in ruins. Has anything changed? Nope. Yeah, no, that's everything. Yeah, so I apparently ended Hunter's Keep the bad way by failing too much. Oh well, we'll go get the bandaged Pashinia. Poisonia. How the heck do you pronounce that, by the way? If anyone could tell me, that'd be great. What are you? Oh. Well, I can get the first shot off if I'm lucky. I'm going to see if I can get lucky with some shots off. Uh, nope. Not a perfect run, but good enough. Let's see, what do they give me? Loot and scuttle. Get a cache of curiosities. A stout crate. Crates! The sources of sustenance, the fundamental element of cargo. A crate of fuel. Coke. Like coal, but more so, as the Department of Infernal Rarefactions would have it. I've gained two fuel. Decent. Decent enough. I don't know if my supplies will hold up, but my fuel definitely will. I'm starting to run into cargo space issues, though. <laughs> which is a problem. I might end up getting We of Clay if I go back... Well, when I go back to Polythereme. Although that problem will assert itself when I have one crew too many. Oh well, we'll see how that plays out with We of Clay. The Vengeance of Jonah. Welcome aboard, my cook. Of avid enthusiasm. Ah, my captain, the things we will catch, that we will consume, that we will experience. We will discover the seventh sensation, you and I, the taste that one tastes with the heart. You there, sailor, careful with the bracing alembic. It's worth more than your wretched soul. Still don't have a strange catch. Ah, well. Officers, welcome Bandage Poshonier. I will gladly take your pages and heart skill with me on the long road ahead. Tomb Colony of Vendabalite. Let us gather some gossip. The last tour operator. Ho, oh, Captain! I have one dozen sand bandit souls here. They're choosing their final fate. Will you take them on one last diversionary tour? It may be a longish trip. Make sure you have enough supplies. 
This will replace 12 supplies with 12 tomb colonists, who you'll need to take to three destinations in the undersea. Mouse over your objective tomb colonists' quality to learn the destination for each visit. Uh, yeah, I can't do that. But we'll gather gossip. What is going on out here? Nothing, sadly. We'll explore Vendabite. The builders of this place work with great slabs of beneath wall stone, carved with black eyed, unsmiling faces and blocky, stoic serpents. We're gonna search warily. Beneath is rarely gentle. Treat this place as enemy territory. Or we could have a picnic. Creepers climb the shattered pyramid. An owl blinks at you from the idol's mouth. In the undergrowth, a cave-sized lizard munches decorously on a white cricket. This place seems peaceful. Rest a while. Searching warily. Only shadows. This place was deserted long ago. You find traces of guilt on the shattered altar. Remnants of vermilion paint on a rotting ritual mask. Nothing else. Gained one terror. Gained a fragment. Oh well. That's all for now. And let us shove off once more. Now, oh, the cherry man wanted me to go to the carnate. I guess that's our de destination. It's gonna be a long journey. We discovered a ton of chook. And gained a secret. I love me little motley crew. A single city. Nope. Nothing to report. Yeah, we're close to the salt lions, but I didn't care that much about them. That's actually something I always like doing. You notice we had a mascot, the comatose ferret. Yeah, not again. I'll bother with the comatose ferret later when we can escape the chili fleur. Okay, turn in this direction. I understand we've entered a fog bank. I also understand the fact that I don't want to attract unwanted attention. Clearly, we can't kill the chili fleur. I swear, there's always one right next to the salt lions. And now I'm gonna have to make a diversion past this place. Terrible, terrible. Ah well. Anyway, I was going to speak to the comatose ferret. It lies across your desk like a lumpy scarf. Play with your ferret. Today the ferret is wary. There's a fake glint in its eye. A sort of hunt. A rat. The ferret rises like a serpent and streaks across the room like a discharged spark. At least, in theory, it does. In practice, it orientates its head towards the rat, which disappears instantly in a puff of squeak. Aww. That's adorable. I love how it says right-click to speak with his officer, as if he was an actual officer of the port. And I'm being watched. By whom? Storms? Already appeased the man once. Oh god. Whatever you wish to say. Well, mostly I did check the map and we ended up. We are very close to station 3. What the? What's attacking us? Oh, Steam Pinnacle. That's fine. We're stopping at station 3 anyway. As long as it's not the Khanate, I don't have an issue with this. Steam Pinnace, sorry. I don't know why I keep calling it Pinnacle. Right. Station 3. Errands for the Acolyte. From time to time, she'll admit that there's something you can do for her. Guarding the Yard. 
She asks you to keep a night watch on the dump where she throws away the unused hot stuff. Or we can get a present. Or we can do a novel present. <laughs> Try to write our own s s song again, but I think I'll go with a low-risk challenge. Smugglers along the shore. This place proves to be a wide field knee-deep in the dark matter. Thousands of hearts worth. Looking too closely at it makes you feel dizzy. Looking too far away from it makes you a poor watchman. It makes an uncomfortable couple of hours, pacing around the dumping ground which runs all the way down to the beach. In the last quarter of the watch, there's stealthy movement. A rowboat, three hooded figures. I've gained some more favor with the Acolyte. I've succeeded in the mirror's challenge. They move stealthily in the dark. They haven't noticed you yet. Challenge them immediately. That's what any good watchman would do. Or we could watch until you know what they're up to. You can always intervene afterwards. I'm gonna go with the one where I have a better chance of success. Let's go and punch them. Splashing in the dark. They panic and scramble back into the boat. From the sound of it, it's a damp and squelchy business. Not only do they not get what they came for, but they left some of their supplies behind. Why, thank you. And inside the gate, there's nothing else here. Oh, well. And with that, I think we'll end the episode here. Hope you've all enjoyed watching. This has been BrainBoy20 with Let's Play Sunless Sea, and I am signing off.